guys welcome back to my channel so today's tutorial I want to give you some good advice and some great tips about how to create volume when it comes to making a hair bun I know that many of you would love to have the big voluminous bun but we don't all have long hair thick hair so in today's tutorial I'm gonna introduce you to some products some tools amazing tips and some clip-in extensions that can help you to create the messy big voluminous bun so if you're interested to see how i'm gonna do this please keep on watching so i put my hair up in a ponytail a very simple tight ponytail and i only blow dried my hair there is i didn't use any curling iron there are no waves in my hair simply because i want to focus on how to create volume even if you don't have the wavy look or the curly look <clears throat> so the first trick that i always use when it comes to creating volume not only with my hair but also um, on my clients hair in the past is teasing the hair and you can do this there are so many ways to create a lot of volume by teasing the hair whether you use a comb or a brush i simply love to use a brush because it makes the hair more fluffy and the hair isn't so concentrated in one place if you use like when you use a comb so for example um, when you use a comb you will have to section the hair off and then work your way otherwise the comb will not work with your hair um, so you need to section the hair off section by section and then tease it while with a brush all you have to do is just grab the entire hair because it doesn't have to be so perfect you want it to be big and fluffy you can simply grab the entire ponytail and then start brushing it i'm simply doing this without putting too much pressure on the hair because the only thing that i want is to create some volume and as you can see i'm not even going all the way back with the hair i'm simply just putting the brush in the hair and give it a little push and then let it go. That's all I'm, I'm doing. And you can decide whether you stick to the roots, so all the way in the beginning of the ponytail or maybe a little bit in the ends as well. It's very important to remember not to make it too messy because you'll end up creating a lot of frizz. And as you can see, it's getting bigger, but it still looks okay if you have very fine thin hair you might try a comb and see what works best for you I always say try to experiment as much as you can this might work for me but it doesn't have to work for you so try to play around with the tools you have I'm really happy with the result it looks great it's a lot bigger than what I had I can choose to brush it gently just the surface to make sure I hide all these flyaways all the frizz that I caused just really gently i'm not even going with the brush in my hair i'm staying at the surface and i'm simply just brushing the frizz out and i'm also using my hand just to keep the hair together and as you can see it looks much thicker already so this is the perfect base to create the big bun The next trick is also very great and I think a lot of you know about this um, and if not I'm gonna mention it I don't think we need to demonstrate how to use it the hair donuts now this little fella right here has been helping so many women out especially girls with very short hair or girls with really fine and thin hair this already by itself creates the shape of a donut and it doesn't matter how thin your hair is the moment you cover this with your own hair it will create the bun you've always dreamed of so it's easy to use you can buy this everywhere and 
I think most of us forget about this because it lays there in the closet and we always complain, oh, I wish my hair was a little bit thicker, I wish my bun was a little bit messier, um, but try to grab this one more often. It's so easy to work with and it makes your hair look bigger than it usually is. So definitely something I always recommend to clients with really short hair like a bob or with thin hair and they want the volume um, of long hair. So a donut's amazing. Moving on to the next tip, and this is personally one of my favorites. I think it's a life savior. It's so easy and I think everyone can do it, I promise you. First step is grab your ponytail and start twisting the hair. Not too tightly, just a little bit. You might hear Bailey in the background. Sorry guys. Stop. Okay, if you have some fallout because you have layers like I do, that's all right. Just keep it hanging there. The next thing that I'm going to do with my fingers, I'm gently grabbing a small amount of hair and I'm pulling it out slightly. And I'm just keep an eye in the mirror what you're doing to make sure you don't pull a lot of hair out. Just a tiny bit and then move on. Grabbing a small hair and then move on. And what you're actually doing is you're making the hair bigger without using any comb, any product, and it's so easy. Anyone can do this, even especially if you have very thin hair. This is really amazing. You see what's happening? And you can continue doing this. You can decide how big you want it, um, but just keep in mind that you're actually making the hair a little bit loose. So this is amazing if you want to go for a very messy, loose bun. Not too tight, not too classy. Just grab and pull. Grab and pull slightly. Take your time while doing this. Be gentle. A little bit around here. And then when you think, oh, it's getting a little bit too loose, just twist it a little bit more to make sure that everything stays perfect in place and then continue again. And once you reach your goal, a small amount of hairspray, just to make sure that the bun, that the hair stays uh, perfect in place. So grabbing everything. And now all you have to do is just twist the bun in place. You can see the difference already. It's a little bit frizzy, um, a little bit um, big and messier but that's okay because this is what you want to achieve um, if you want to go for a messy bun so again a small amount of hairspray good distance and just that's it and then this will stay perfect in place because you twisted the hair so you're already securing it and then when you twist it around the hair elastic creating the bun um, this will stay perfect in place and also of course with the bobby pins and the hairspray so this is also an, a great way and so easy to create a lot of volume um, if you want to want if you want to go for a messy bun Next, I would love to introduce you to two products you might heard of and you might already been using. The first product is a volume powder and then we have here a, a dry shampoo. Now there is a big difference between the two, but I always love to combine these two when it comes to creating volume or simply just hide the greasiness in your hair. So the volume powder creates a lot of volume to the hair and many use it only for the roots, which is obviously the place to be if you want to create volume. We, want all, we all want the big voluminous um, hair and it starts at the roots. But don't forget, you can use this one also through the hair, like through the ends, through the length, and this will create also a lot of volume. And the dry shampoo, of course, um, I have been using this the moment it came out on the market. And if you're not using it yet, 
please it's a life savior you definitely need to try it so what it does is that it will hide all the oils the moment you spray this on the hair section where it's very oily you will see that it disappears immediately but you can also use this not only on your roots but also throughout your hair like throughout the length so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to create volume using a volume powder and a dry shampoo so the one that I'm using is from sexy hair but there are so many brands out there um, so all you have to do is just search um, volume powder um, I like this one it's a travel size I like to take it everywhere with me um, but to be honest with you once you've used it you don't have to use it again uh, because the next day I always wash my hair so all I'm doing is taking a small amount like this so this is this, this is the amount that I'm taking. Now you can put the product straight into your hair, but I think it will be very concentrated on one spot. So I'm grabbing my other hand and I'm pressing my two hands together. So I'm having the product in my two hands and I'm simply just squeezing the product in my hair. For me, that's the best way because um, I'm sure that the product is evenly spread. And if I want more, I simply grab a little bit more. Now you can see what it does. This is of course not only the product, the technique that I'm using, squeezing the hair, which also wakes the hair up. It will create the volume together with the product. So this is also great if you use any volume product, even hairspray or your favorite volume cream. This is the greatest way to achieve a lot of volume. So try not to pull the hair, but squeeze it a little bit, but be gentle. Again, I'm doing this with a lot of love. I don't want to hurt my hair. I don't want to make it too frizzy. So this is the volume that I've achieved already just using a volume product, but I want a little bit more. Now I can go for a hairspray. That will be great, but I think a hairspray is a little bit wet. It's a wet product, so it might weight the hair down. So what I'm gonna use is the dry shampoo. I'm opening my hair, I'm spreading the hair as much as possible so the product can get all over and just... It smells so good. And if you're interested, the one that I'm using is from Kern Dry Shampoo. This is the one that I'm using. I'm going to put all the products that I've used today, including the tools, in the description box. So you can shop them all. So if you want to go for a messy bun with a lot of volume, this is what you got to do. These products do not make the hair silky. Then you would go for an oil, but that will weight the hair down. So... It will make it dry as you can see. It will make it very matte because it soaks up all the oils in my hair, which is fine. It doesn't do any harm for the moment. I don't do this every day. I do this when my hair is very greasy or when I have a special occasion and I wanna go for the big bun and I don't feel like teasing my hair or using a donut. And the next thing that I'm gonna do, just like we did on the first hairstyle, is just grabbing the hair I'm not twisting it too much, I'm just putting it in place. I'm gonna use the bobby pins and I'm securing everything in place. And I'm pulling the hair even more out and it doesn't have to look perfect. I don't care if the layers are falling out. I want the messy voluminous bun, so that's what I'm going for. So I'm not being very careful when pulling the hair out. So this is what it looks like. This is also one of my favorites. I do not tease the hair. I'm not harming the hair. I'm simply using two of my favorite products, which is a volume powder and a dry shampoo. You can combine the two. You can use them separately depending on the thickness of your hair or how much volume you want to create. I am seriously in love with my bun. And as you can see, it looks so much bigger. I think this is the biggest we've achieved so far comparing to the teasing um, and to the twisting. I've 
come to the final tip of today's tutorial and this is also one of my favorites it's so easy and it's seriously a life saver especially for people with very short hair and they still want to go for the big bum clip-in extensions are so easy to work with they don't harm the hair you don't have to go to the hairdresser so they have to do it for you just like other extensions you can use these at home you can decide how much you clip in you can decide how long you want to wear them where to clip them and how to include them in your hair now I've talked about Luxi hair in my previous tutorials and I've showed you how to clip them in and how they blend naturally with my hair I want to include some of the extensions in today's tutorial just to show you how to achieve some length if you want to go for the big bun but you really really have short or thin hair so let's say your hair is this short but you still miss some length to create the bun I'm using the one with the two clips first what I'm gonna do is halfway the ponytail somewhere I'm gonna clip them in so I'm actually adding some length to the hair as you can see it adds a lot of length and I'm feeling to see how much volume does it add to the rest of the hair and from that I can decide whether I want to add another piece or, ju or just leave it as it is but I'm going for another one I think this is long enough and I'm just gonna grab the hair I'm gonna twist it like we did in the first hairstyle and then twist it then use the bobby pin to secure everything in place so I think this looks really cool especially if you have really short hair and a very tiny ponytail it's amazing to add some hair to your ponytail and this what you can create out of it so the luxies that I'm using are so easy to work with all you have to do is just clip them in and then you decide how much you can use and it doesn't even show that I have extensions in my hair so all you have to do is just choose the correct color and then choose the amount of clip ins you want to add to your ponytail simply twist it and then secure in place using bobby pins So try to play around with everything you have at home, um, your favorite brush or the comb or you know the, the hairspray or the volume powder or the dry shampoo. You have no idea how many things you can discover while playing around um, with these stuff that are laying in your house already. So you don't have to spend extra money on them, but they can help you to create the perfect hairstyle, whether it's a voluminous ponytail or a messy bun, just like the one we created today. Thank you so much for taking your time to be here with me. Don't forget to comment below and let me know which technique do you like the most? Which one are you willing to try to see if it fits your hair? I'm really curious to read your comments. Um, give this tutorial a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I really hope to see you next time. Bye!